Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy D Free, and I'm back again, once again, with another. Once again, I, I have to say it all the time another Dragon Ball Z Universe build. And today, I am bringing you guys the OP, the OP, the OP, the powerful, powerful, powerful Emperor's Death Beam build. Okay, so this is the build I have worked on and tested a lot and it's actually really really fun so just a, a little bit of tidbit here a little quick tidbit for you guys you have a lot of options with this i'm rocking with a male sand uh if you want to get the most out of this you're probably going to want to rock with a female character be it a earthling or a sand because they're better at key blast supers than males are so that being said this is the build gravity impact is a staple you must have it Burst Kamehameha is incredible. It's incredible. Like, you know, the the comboing, it's incredible, honestly. Maximum charge is, eh, I prefer full power charge, which I'm actually going to change it to. I mean, if you like maximum, you can go with it, but I like how full power, the movements in and out of the charge are faster. Fighting Pose G, this move increases the key blast power by about another 10% or so, so it's awesome. Super Vegeta 2, about another 15% on top. Emperor's Death Beam, obviously, the move we're building around, and Dragon Burn. So, Dragon Burn is on here strictly. You can use either of these two, but it's only on here so you can kind of get off your fighting pose. It's not necessary, honestly. I honestly prefer to go with Angry Shout, because Angry Shout is my favorite evasive skill. It's just so OP. Um, but that being said, the Z Soul I'm using right now is I Am Super Vegeta. As you can tell, it gives you plus three points in Key Blast Supers, and it also. It activates whenever you transform into a Super Saiyan, as it says, and it gives you about another 5 or 7%, I believe, on top. So, you got a lot of percentage going there, and of course, you can use your equipment to your advantage, as you, you can tell. So, definitely, you, you got a lot of points there, and uh, as far as distribution goes, my character's not level 99 yet, so I'm not complete with it. But you're going to want to have 100 here, and 100 here. Um, uh, no, actually, 85 is okay, because you're going Super Saiyan and you have unlimited. Honestly, 80 is okay. But you want 100 health and 100 Key Blast Supers, and I would throw the rest into Stamina, whatever's residual. So 80, 100, 100, and the rest into Stamina. You get like 312 or something like that. I have to redo the math. So, yeah, you throw that there. Honestly, I'm a little bummed because I don't have enough Stamina right now. Uh, it's not fun playing when I don't have any Stamina. I prefer Stamina over Key anyway. In most of my builds, I prefer Stamina. But this build required a lot of Key because of going Super Saiyan, and I wanted it to last. So there's that. Honestly, like I said, you probably want to use a female character. And honestly, a little tidbit for you guys. If you guys use a female Earthling, they have, well, female or male. But if you use an Earthling character in general, they... Ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry. They have unlimited unlock potential. So unlock potential isn't as good as Super Vegeta 2, but it is pretty good uh, as far as buffs go. It gives you like another 10% from what I could tell. There's not a definite way to tell, but from what I can tell when I looked at it and did comparisons and whatnot, it gives you about another 10%. So it's actually really, really good because it they have unlimited uh, unlock potential. So what I mean by that is it doesn't disable their key regen. So they're steady regenerating key while they are transformed. So it doesn't run out. The only way it runs out is if you use all your key by using like a uh, attack or something like that. But the downside of that is, once again, you don't get to quote unquote spam because you're not a Super Saiyan. So yeah, there is a bit of a trade off there. So you can use that Earthling or a Saiyan. Either one will work, and this also works with any any uh any race as well. Uh, honestly, it's pretty fun just in general. It's just a pretty fun build, and Emperor's Death Beam is too OP. I can see it getting nerfed and nerfed fast, honestly. But I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of gameplay of it. Um, I, I worked on it pretty much all day. <laughs> uh, it's really, really fun though. It really is fun because you, once you see the potential of it, it, it's just really, 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 really a good move, especially because it can hit you like upwards of 30 times. That's ridiculous. 30 hits is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. And I didn't want to do this. I wanted to kind of spar against myself, but whatever. Crap. I'm so used to having Angry Shout. I'm not used to having Dra Dragon Burn there. I thought that was Angry Shout. Okay, so let me see if I can charge up. Don't worry about how I'm playing right now. I'm not trying to play good. I just want to showcase the build for you guys. I just want to show it off. Show it off. Uh, what was that? Consecutive Energy Blast? They really like... When they nerf moves, they also make other moves more accurate. Because uh, I remember at first when this game came out, full power... Energy Blast Volley, I think it's called, was horrible. You could never hit, but now, like, most of them actually hit the target. Same thing goes with Consecutive Energy Blast. All right, now I can actually transform now. 
Okay, so you saw the Z Soul activate, and if I'm... No, I'm not able to right now, because I don't have... Eh. Okay, so the pose is questionable, as you can tell. It's very situational, but the build is fine without the pose. It, it really is. It's only like another 5 or 6%, but the point of the pose is to help you out. <laughs> I'm not going to try the pose anymore for now until I beat this character, and another one respawns. I think that's what's going to happen. Watch this. This is probably going to take her out if they all hit. Okay, well, most of them are hidden. <laughs> Look at that nice chunk of damage there. It probably would have taken her out, though, if I got the pose off. Okay. So, I know another one's going to respawn. I should have did it, but I was low on health. Or on, uh, key. I'm sorry. Wow, he's not even worried about me, clearly. He's not even worried, <laughs> he's not even worried about me. Oh, well, well, while he's not worried, let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to um, do it right off the bat. Hopefully they all hit. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. <laughs> this move is OP. It's overpowered. It's ridiculous. It's it's almost as if you're throwing a big-ass ball attack like freaking Spear Bomb or something. And just getting more damage in. It's really hard. It's, it's not that it's hard to evade. If you can get past that first one, you can just keep dashing and get out of it. But if you're caught in a place where you're frozen via like a dragon burn or something like that, or you have no stamina left, it, it's really hard to get out of. And this is why I'm saying like burst limit, a uh, burst limit, wow. Burst Kamehameha is just really good, honestly. Comboing and whatnot. Now, you're not gonna, if you're using this build, you're not gonna really rely on combos because you're not gonna have anything in the basic attack. But, hey, I still like to, I still prefer to fight like this, <laughs> even though I don't have anything there. So, it really works really well. And it's really quick. I was I was tempted to throw Warp Kamehameha on here because I like the move, but I like the idea of the move. But honestly, Warp Kamehameha is surprisingly ungood. Like you would think it's better than it is, but it, it really just doesn't hardly hit. It's really easy to dodge, and it seems like the blast radius is it has a really small radius. It doesn't seem like it's very wide in general. Okay, that should take him out. Awesome. I know that these guys are pretty weak. See, he's always level 82. That's not bad. Um. These time patrols are pretty weak, but just in a ranked battle, you can only max out at 100 health. So think of it this way. These guys probably have around 70 health. So if you get one and a half, just one and a half, you don't even got to let two of them get through. But if you let one and a half Emperor's Death Beams get through, that's game right there. It is, honestly. And depending on their stat distribution, one might be enough. Especially if you can get the pose off. The pose, I'm still kind of working on, working the kinks out of. If you guys have any suggestions for the pose, maybe we can ditch the pose and the Z soul and change it up a little bit um but I'm still working on that honestly and I may come out with another video updating this but I just wanted to get this out before too many of these kind of flooded out there I haven't had a chance to test this on ranked unfortunately I know I shouldn't have brought it out without being a chance to test it on rank and whatnot but I have done local battles against some really good players so it did work out really well for me I've won most of those matches actually and uh, as you can tell, there's some sort of bug because I still have the Z Soul boost. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I still have it, even though I'm not transformed. I feel like it should have went away. Look at the animation on that. Like the animation on that move looks so tight. And they should take him out or her out. You don't even have to be transformed. But did I just get broken out of it? You don't have to be transformed for this. Like this build works in general. You don't have to transform. It doesn't rely on transforming, and it doesn't rely on the pose. Even if you don't transform and you don't use the pose, you're missing maybe about 20% or so, 25% on it, but it's still pretty powerful because the move in general is pretty powerful and you have 100 key blasts. Here. So, or ultimates, key ultimates, whatever it's called. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Alright, look at how fast freaking Burst comes my eyes. I almost comboed it after a gravity impact. That's ridiculous. If I would have been in the right position, I probably could have comboed it. How many of these guys are there? All right. Hey, bro. Hey. Hey, man. Hey. Be nice. Be nice. Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. This is too OP. Uh, this move is going to get nerfed, and it's going to get nerfed fast. It really is. It's too strong. It just, it's, it's too powerful. But yeah, if you guys like the video, like it down below. I'm going to keep trying to bring you guys competitive Xenoverse builds. I know it's been a while since I dropped my last one, but honestly, they take a while. They're, they're hard to really work out the kinks in and perfect and whatnot. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, though. If you guys like the video, like I said, share with your friends, share with your friends, share with your friends. Peace out, you guys. Have a great day. Deuces.